Gorillas are special creatures listed as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources. Their preservation is essential for many reasons, says Dr. James Deutsch, director of Africa Program of Wildlife Conservation Society. They're so closely related to us that, um, that through them we, we gain some kind of connection to our own history and ancestry and some kind of direct connection to the forest and, and nature. And that's really magic. This year, different agencies around the world have joined forces to improve the great ape's survival in the wild. All of this is um, against the backdrop of a uh, very, very important United Nations program um, uh, out of the United Nations Environment Program um, called GRASS, or the Great Ape Survival Program. Along with UN officials, other individuals create to contribute to the wild gorilla conservation efforts particularly providing financial means for the cause. These individuals happen to be gorillas at the Congo Gorilla Forest exhibit, hosted by Bronx Zoo. We like to think of the animals here as ambassadors. We have um, an exhibit called the Congo Gorilla Forest, which in the course of 10 years has raised more than $8 million from zoo visitors directly to fund great ape conservation programs in Central Africa. The last gorilla was brought to the Bronx Zoo in 1920s from Africa. Since then, the second and third generations of these immigrants have worked as wildlife ambassadors, advocating for their relatives in the wild. In their natural habitats, gorillas face three big challenges, Dr. Deutsch says. Um, the first is bushmeat, in, especially in the west of Central Africa. People still eat gorilla meat, and that's really a shame because gorillas are at such low densities and it's very easy because they have low reproductive rates for that kind of hunting to kill off gorilla populations. Another challenge is, is infectious diseases and especially Ebola. Finally, I think, is uh, the crucial thing is protecting gorilla habitat. Gorillas are migratory species, which means they need large natural areas for their migration routes. Many habitats are located in Congo, Uganda and Rwanda. Unstable situations in the home countries of great apes make conservation efforts difficult. Conflict is a huge challenge. Where the civil unrest and war gets beyond a certain level of intensity, then it's just not possible for us to operate. Um, but having said that, what we found was that um, all sides of those conflicts um, understood that the future of the country depended greatly on the resources that the gorillas were able to bring to that country in the form of tourism. Dr. George says that one way to protect great apes is to develop gorilla tourism in Africa. This stimulates economic development and helps maintain the living habitats of gorillas and other species. Gorillas thus serve as ambassadors for the forests. Because people can relate to that, they give us a way to, a means to protect a whole ecosystem of, of tropical rainforests, which, which contain millions of other species. And of course, the gorillas are the most spectacular ones, the ones that we can most immediately understand. But the effect of conserving the gorillas is actually to conserve the whole rainforest. And